All we're doing today is just figuring out how many square feet of lawn we have. Let's get to it. This is the longest yard. Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Kevin with The Longest Yard. Welcome to my channel, welcome to my first video. Up here in the Pacific Northwest, my family and I just moved into a new house. So I wanted to get in the YouTube game, get into the lawn video game. So welcome to my channel. Today we're just doing square footage. How many square feet is your yard? Uh, as you can see, we're still moving in. The boxes are still in the garage. Gotta clean those up. Um, my wife's still painting like crazy. The, every wall is painted. But I'm out here on the lawn, so let's get to it. I got my tools here. Depending on the yard, if you are, this is a, a 0.4 of an acre, so almost a half an acre um, lot. But I don't know how many square feet of lawn we have. I've got, I've got you can use just a simple tape measure. I've got a trusty wheel. I'm going to start with the wheel today. Uh, I'll, I'll do a couple other things too with the measuring tape as well. And also, what you want to do. If you want to get online, you want to print out a map. You want to print out a map of your house. And um, what you want to do is just over, over screenshot. If you don't have a drone or something like that up high, and you just want to map it out, I got a pen. We're going to draw it up. We're just going to see, calculate, simple calcul calculation. Um, see how many square feet we have. So let's go. Okay, I got my wheel all set, ready to go. The wheel's great, you just roll it across the ground. It tells exactly how many feet you are at. Go from length, write it down, width, write it down, and that's your square footage of that square. If you don't have a wheel, tape measure is great too, depending on how long your tape measure is, but this little area is a good demonstration for a tape measure. Lay it down if you have to go further than the tape measure. Some tape measures are 25 feet, 35 feet. If you have to go further, just uh, make a little spot in the grass and that way you know where you left off and keep marking. So you can use lots of different things. I just happen to have the wheel. You can also step it out if you know exactly that you step three feet every time. The point is just to get out here and map your yard just to know exactly how many square foot of yard you have. I think it's really important to know how many square feet of lawn you have because when you go to the store to buy fertilizer or weed and feed, you know exactly how much product you need. How many bags do you need? If you're getting a Scott's Turf Builder, you know that a bag can cover 15,000 square feet. So is that gonna cover your yard once? Is it gonna, are you gonna have some left over to do your yard twice? Or if you're using an organic malorganite, is one bag can cover 2,500 square feet. So. Do you need three bags? Do you need four bags? Do you need five bags? That way you buy the perfect amount of product each time. So as you make your way around your yard, length times width, write it down your map, add them up, and that's how many total square feet you have. So as you can see on my map, I broke mine out into different zones. I've got three 2,000 foot zones and one 2,500 square foot zone total of 8,500 square feet. Well, thanks for watching, that'll do it here. You've been in The Longest Yard. How many square feet is your yard? 